Hi, this is Matt Rundown. If you enjoy movie reviews, short and trailer reactions, you're in the right place. Why not subscribe and hit the like button down below. On this Top Tuesday, we're checking out the trailer for number 77, Metropolis from 1927. Must be one of the oldest ones we've done. I think this could, Nosferatu might have been older. Not Nosferatu. Uh, <laughs> the Sum... 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 The Sleeping Guy. Sum... Yeah. <laughs> so, some some of the list. I can't say it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we're watching a trailer, but I don't know if they had trailers in 1927. I think it kind of just pitched up to movies. You didn't have as much choice as you do now. No. So but... I don't know what this will be like. It might be a highlights of the movie that changed this and look, go back and mm. like a throwback trailer to remember it type of well i mean the throwback still wants to serve the purpose of getting people to watch it who haven't seen it so let's True. we can still kind of see if we would so it should still do the jobs yeah do you know anything about metropolis no i do know it was the most expensive or one of the most expensive movies ever made back then like it was huge, like massive sci-fi movie, and in the 20s, that's quite an achievement. So, let's see what was amazing back then. Black and white again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kino International Party announces the return of the Palms Cut. Yeah, definitely. I don't know, graphics aren't bad. It's quite cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the very exaggerated makeup they to be exaggerated. Yes, for the, the time it makes sense. I'm not unhappy with it. It's like a modern <gasps> Pinocchio. Yes. Newly discovered village. I hope I'm going to try and get that one. It's somewhat oppressive. I think it's a totalitarian state type of thing. I think this might be very relevant for today because this is how a lot of people are feeling like they just work and then, you know. Log off and come back. Log off yeah. and come back. I was watching, well, not watching, I was looking at a picture that had these lines where people would fall asleep literally standing up on the lines while they were working. It was around like, this time frame. Wow. So I could see why. Very uh, sexy outfits for that time. <laughs> Though they did be great off the 20s, 30s, probably. Very sexy outfits. <laughs> so, no, it's fine. I'm surprised. <laughs> Interesting. I think they got through what they wanted. Yeah, I'm curious. I mean, we can guess what the the setting for it is. Somebody's created laugh as well, so. We've got some information. I thought she was going to be like half, like human, half robot-ish looking. But it obviously makes sense for that not to be the case because how would they have pulled off all the makeup and stuff would have taken too long. Yeah. And also in black and white, not great cinema screens mm. to portray that. It might look a bit wrong. Yeah. But I love the exaggerated makeup and stuff. It's brilliant. Because obviously they have to, because we can't see the you know the fine detail color. It has to be like strong. Yes. Love it. Mad scientist Frankenstein. Yeah. Like Frankenstein Pinocchio-ish vibes. Yes. In a dystopian future. Mm -hmm. Do you know what's going to be interesting? What? I hope they tell us when they think it's set. Oh yeah. Because seeing some of the old old movies, like the dystopian future of 2010. Like, that, no, that never happened. <laughs> the not, flying not, cars. Yeah, not quite like that. <laughs> yeah. We we never got the flying cars. We never got the Sadly. booster packs and 
all that jazz. So I wonder when they think this would have happened, being sci-fi futuristic. This will be very interesting. Yeah. Looking forward. Yeah, I think it could be fun. It's nice to see where the birth of certain genres started, and this is more or less the birth of sci-fi, so that's kind of cool. Yes. I'm excited to watch the sci-fi one because I enjoyed the horror-ish one. The yes. S- sleeping one. <laughs> Somnolist. Sombilist. Somnolist. <laughs> I don't know. What's your favourite really old sci-fi movie? Probably like Frankenstein and that because it's classic. I can't think of anything really, really old. I keep like going to Blade Runner or like the first Star Wars movies. <laughs> Which, yeah, I mean, they're not that old in comparison to 1927. No. For me, like, if newer ones are probably, like, obviously Stargate. Yeah. That was OG also movie. 90s. Well, you know, when we grew up, it's old for us. Yeah. So I say Star Wars. That was long before we were born. Let us know in the comments down below. What's your favorite old school sci movie? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Later.